We've made it to our final destination, Watkins Glen, New York, and we're camping here for three nights. We came in late last night after our trip to Cuyahoga Valley and Kinsua State Park in Pennsylvania. Now we finally get to enjoy Watkins Glen, but it's already the afternoon. This morning started with a hike through the gorge and coffee. Now we get the day started. Now we're headed out to see the other side of Watkins Glen. Brewery time! <laughs> Juniper is loving it. She even has a fall coat to come along with us. Watkins Glen is definitely traditionally known for their wineries. We are checking out breweries today. We're starting here at Grist Iron Brewing. pointed out that they match our shirts. It really does. Oh, that's funny. What did I pick? Oh, yeah, it's known for grapes around here, so I got the grape ale. The Juicy Way New England IPA. <laughs> Okay, we had pizza and a pretzel. Pizza was very good. I think Courtney liked it way more than I did. It was so good. Sweet <laughs> with the honey, pepperoni. Very yeah, the pepperoni was spicy, the honey was sweet. We didn't have red pepper flakes. I just think they could have been a little more adventurous with the crust, but it's okay. Pretzel, so good. And the beer, the, the great beer. beer. Cheese. Oh, the beer cheese, yeah. The beer cheese with the pretzel was very good. Also, the great beer, which, which, which was what you were going after, was so good. IPA, the New England <laughs> IPA, also good. Yeah, it was. It was really light. Um, they are known, they used to be known for grape pies, but I haven't found anywhere that still has grape pies. Obviously with the wineries, grapes are a big thing, but the Concord grapes specifically, I don't know. It's good? Yeah, the beer was great. Okay, on to the next one.
Do you like your coat? Jen, do you like your coat? We'll go show it off. Fashion show. What's over here happening? <laughs> Juniper was chilling. So we're sharing my coat. Plus, she's made about 200 friends since we've been here. Including one pup pup friend whose name is Coco, and she's nine months old and a pooch. Headed out of Two Goats Brewing. Our second stop, which I don't think I introduced, Two Goats Brewing. We definitely liked it. The beer was really good. I thought it was kind of mild, which was nice. It was just a little cold today without the sun out, but the place is really cool. Yeah. Uh, I think they have one sandwich, which is a beef on weck, which is known in Watkins Glen. So it's good that they have one sandwich and then free popcorn, which is awesome. But the setup is really neat. Multiple decks, a little space inside. A neat place to be and I'm happy we stopped here. I think some of the places can be like dolled up a little bit too much and this was ideal. And I don't think you can beat the view. Okay, back to the campground. We decided we needed ice cream before we go to the campground. It's freezing today, but it'll be worth it. How cute! I went with maple walnut, that seemed like a good fall flavor. I went with chocolate hazelnut on the bottom and rocky raspberry rocky mountain on the top. She really wanted peanut butter madness, but there just wasn't enough for a full scoop, so it wasn't worth it. Chocolate hazelnut is a good backup. I can't bite it yet, she needs a picture. It's like butter pecan, but was sweeter. Courtney said we have to get ice cream, and I was like, I don't know. And she's like, we're on vacation, we're getting ice cream. Ooh, the raspberry. I only objected for a minute. The raspberry flavor on those bites is very good. Solid choice. Solid choice. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the campground. Tonight for dinner, we're having chili. A few weeks ago, I made a pot of chili. We just froze the extra, brought it in the cooler, sour cream cheese, and the sourdough bread we got at Cuyahoga Valley. We've been waiting to really dig into it, and today is the day. It is only 6.30, probably almost seven. We just had ice cream, so we're not overly hungry. But I'm gonna get everything out so that we can make it really easily. Juniper is a chewer. She does like to chew on wood, but we'll see how it goes. Definitely not the plastic, girly. Oh, 
What do you think, June? <laughs> Not impressed. Never impressed. That's pretty good. It's getting late. It's definitely cold out. So perfect night for chili. I don't want to forget the, the sourdough. That's perfect. If you ignore the smoke, this is a perfect fire for marshmallows. Courtney, we're both full, but we have to have at least one, which means we're probably going to have three. Ooh. Oh, it's perfect. So my favorite marshmallow is where it's crispy on the outside and really warm in the center. Courtney likes them that way, but also likes them caught on fire. You're gonna have to let us know how you like your marshmallows in the comments. I think that does it for us tonight. If you enjoyed coming along camping with us, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because it's just day one. We have plenty more to do tomorrow. We'll see you then, right after I roast these for Courtney. Don't mind Jean's bad ears. <laughs> yeah, little shadow action. The ribs, by far the best ribs that I've ever had. Just so tender, just biting into it felt like I was biting into butter. Thank you.